After days of watching the weather wreak havoc across much of the country, today it was the turn of the southwest. Two weather systems combining as one, making even the simplest things difficult. The A38 outside Exeter has form in these conditions, and today was no exception. Once gridlock sets in, there is little way out except to sit and wait. The centre of Exeter suffered too, slipping and sliding through the streets, a worry for even the most confident as icy roads and pavements turned on those who used them. Uh, I had to walk all the way up to my grandmother's this afternoon and see her and my dad. Uh, and <laughs> I know it's been for most of the evening as well. So I walked past the river, which is frozen, which it hasn't been for ever since I can remember. In Bristol, travel became a puzzle as plans were thrown into disarray. We do expect the situation to get quite dangerous. We would advise people not to travel, uh, not just travel if essential, but not to travel and uh, we think it is going to deteriorate as the day progresses and certainly after dark. In South Wales, the speed of travel has slowed as the need to stay safe has gathered pace. In the valleys, they promise disruption to trains. But this afternoon, shortly after we filmed this, the service shut down completely. While some managed to make their journeys, many here in Newbridge are planning the next 24 hours on the basis that they won't be going anywhere. By lunchtime, the essential supplies were already yes. running low. Um, looking at the fridges now, we've hardly got anything left. We had a delivery from our bread company this morning, plus I made a uh, trip to the warehouse this morning to get two um, different types of bread, and that's pretty much sold out at the moment as well. In this, the red zone where the weather is a threat to life, the streets are all but empty. The warnings which came early are still in place and the snow just keeps on falling. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Newbridge, South Wales. This is why the warning was raised to red alert. Thick snow and biting winds caused lorries to jackknife on the M80, leaving hundreds of drivers stranded in sub-zero temperatures. We got a seven month old child in here. We've been stuck in this car with no one knows anything, no updates on the website. We have no idea what's going on and it's absolutely pathetic. This was the most severe weather warning for snow Scotland has ever had. These drivers either got out and walked or spent it sheltering in the car. <laughs> Decide never to travel to Scotland when it's snowing. Trust me, it's literally, people say, oh, you're daft travelling, but literally it just came in. Vehicles were still stuck on the M80 this afternoon after almost 24 hours. The red warning meant it was a threat to life, but local volunteers came to the rescue there you go, there's your sandwiches. With food and blankets. We've been stuck for 19 hours. We are just about a mile outside of Denny. Um, so as you can see around our car, we've got a little bit of food and water, and these were all given to us by locals of the area. They've been walking up and down, they're really nice. These two emptied their own fridges at home, then walked three miles to deliver parcels of pizza and iron brew. It was as if we were Santa Claus came with gifts, um, the people's eyes just lit up. We were making sure that they were OK as well and if they needed to use the phone. It wasn't just on the M80 that driving conditions were perilous. Oh my God, oh my God! Oh! A near miss in Edinburgh. The red alert might have left Scotland, but as you can see, the weather's not letting up. We're now in an amber weather warning that's been extended into tomorrow, meaning villages like Condorit could be facing a third day cut off from food deliveries. These are the shelves in the Condorit news agents. We need a delivery, we absolutely need a delivery and nobody can get in to help us. Glasgow and Edinburgh airports are both closed, trains cancelled. It'll take several days to get Scotland moving again. The worst of the weather may have left, but now the recovery begins. Peter Smith, ITV News, Lanarkshire. Snow and sub-zero temperatures, this freezing storm still has Britain in its grip and for many now the sudden realisation that this country is locked in a struggle. A highway officer's vehicle burns on the motorway across the Pennines. In heavy snow the traffic around it locks up and there's no way to put out the fire. On the M66 nearby a crash involving 16 vehicles in the snow and a lengthy recovery operation. 
In these conditions, the ability of emergency services to respond to even a routine call can easily be compromised. If you need urgent medical attention and you live in a town or city in conditions like this, it's difficult enough. But if you live in an isolated rural community and the only road that links you to the nearest doctor is one like this, then getting the care you need can be almost impossible. Here in Lincolnshire, the RAF have been deployed as the fourth emergency service. The armed forces stepping in in the hope that they can answer calls for help that other crews simply can't reach. With the terrain that we've got here in Lincolnshire and the particular snow we've got at the moment, uh, coupled with the wind, the snow is drifting across the carriageways, making driving very, very difficult. The blocked roads that stop everyone from reaching work have threatened the ability of NHS workers to do their jobs. Nursing staff in Sunderland are only here after a social media appeal for 4x4 four four drivers to bring them to work and they'll be sleeping at the hospital overnight to make sure they're here to care for the people who need them. It's the patients. You, you can close schools, you can close offices, but you can't close a hospital. So the patients are here and the patients need nurses and that's just as simple as it is. This is, this is what we do, so you do what you have to do to get here. Some of those who need treatment might live many miles from the nearest hospital. On this hillside in Northumberland, the sheep have been fed, but the woman who cares for them is snowed into her cottage. Linda says she's stocked up on food and medicines because a medical emergency in these conditions has only one solution. You would have to get the tractor out and either take them to hospital or get, get them some medication, yeah. And how important is that for neighbours here to help each other? Well, it's always been part of rural life. Um, when you're out here, people do help each other. There's, there's never, ever been a question. You might fall out over a wall or a boundary, but if something like this happens... It doesn't matter about any of those silly things you, you pull together. So many people are working round the clock to keep Britain safe. The question is whether this cold weather will outlast their ability to cope. Damon Green, ITV News, in Northumberland.